Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So it's been it's been a couple weeks since I made a video because there hasn't been much going on. <laughs> it's been a rather quiet past two weeks, I guess. Uh, I've just been working, 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 taking a lot of photos, uh, which I looked at today. So I've been working at that job now for two months, a little over two months, like two months, one week or something. No. Yeah, anyway, it's about two months. And I looked today and I had taken over 13,000 photos. So that's like, excuse me, 4,000 more since the last time I made a video. So, wow. I guess I'm shooting about 2,000 photos a week, which is absolutely crazy. But they need to be done. I mean, today I did over 500. Tomorrow, I'll probably do another five or six hundred. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm still enjoying it. Still enjoying it a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm learning a lot, actually, about cameras, even though, well, like, I mean, I've been using this, this camera for, what, a little over two years now, or almost two years. And I've been mostly shooting in just all the auto settings because I still didn't quite understand all of the manual settings because I've just been learning this on my own. Um, but because of this job, I'm learning more about all of the different manual settings and whatnot, how to change it to get a better color and whatnot. So it's it's interesting. It's fun. Plus, I've been learning a lot about the different bags and whatnot and purses and wallets and all that. So... It's pretty interesting. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, so two months. But yeah, I'll be starting school here in September. So I'll still be working the same amount of hours, I think, I hope. Um, but we'll see what happens with that. So but yeah, not really much going on. Uh, just a few things I want to talk about. So I mentioned that I entered some photo contests the um the bird calendar one and the what urban wildlife one and I lost them both <laughs> it's okay I wasn't expecting to win but like so the urban wildlife one which was hosted by I think what the website Pickfair I think it's like an online retailer shop hold on it's getting hot in here and I just turned off the air conditioner and it's already getting humid in here it's been raining all day today it's gonna rain all day tomorrow too but anyways so they said they were gonna announce the winners in June but they didn't announce it until July but whatever um, but I did see a website that had like the winning pictures on them and they were good but I mean like I don't know one was just like a squirrel lying down in a road or something. It's like, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> like my, my photo, that one of the photos that I entered was a deer looking into a shop. You know, that's, that's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know, whatever. I'm not, I'm not mad about it, but it's just like, it was just a squirrel lying down on a, like a road or I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's still cool though. It was still a nice photo. Um, I'm not mad or anything. Um, the other photos I don't remember. I think one was a fox running under a street light, which was pretty cool. I think that's what it was. I don't remember. Um, but then the other one, the bird contest. So, I, I, I don't know if I knew when they were going to announce the winners. But, <clears throat> what happened? So I sent, I actually had to send the photos to wherever. Where was it at? Chiba? I can't remember. But I, sent, I actually had to print out some photos and send them there. And I guess they didn't want, like, high quality photos. They just wanted, like, a sample of the photo so that then they could get 
the original data off, off of you for later. I don't know. Anyway, so I just send them, and that cost, how much did it cost? Like a few hundred yen? I don't remember. So I did that, and then I think two weeks ago, I was sitting here, and I was, oh, actually, I was, I was doing my online lesson, and we were playing Minecraft, and suddenly, ping pong, my doorbell went off, and I saw who it was, and saw that it was the, excuse me, post office uh, delivery guy, so went to the door, and he's like, oh, this is blah, 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 I forget the word, but cash on demand, I forget the Japanese word. Um, and it'll be 1,040 yen. I'm like, okay, I'm not expecting anything. But okay, whatever, we'll find out what it is. So I ran back in, paid him the money, and got an envelope from the bird contest headquarters. And it was nice of them. They actually sent a letter saying that I didn't win and sent back my original photos which I don't have here I don't oh I think they're just sitting back there but anyways so they're just on regular paper that I printed out from the convenience store nothing fancy and I had to pay a thousand yen to get them back it's like ten dollars so all in all this contest cost me like fifteen dollars to enter and lose they could have just sent an email telling me I lost or sent a letter that wasn't like that cost ten dollars or what a thousand yen whatever <laughs> but I was just I was just like in shock like that they actually did cash on demand for I guess if they're really good photos but I mean like they just wanted like regular paper that wasn't glossy or anything I, I guess I don't know, but whatever, I lost. <laughs> I don't know what the winning photos look like, but I guess I could in a future buy a calendar and find out. Or I'll just make my own calendar, whatever. But yeah, pretty disappointed in that. Oh well, it's okay. <laughs> Try again in the future. But speaking of disappointing, on, what's today? Tuesday, on Sunday, after I had one of my lessons, I met a friend who I haven't seen in, we couldn't remember, like, we thought about it and we, we gathered, it was like four or five years ago the last time we met, so it's been a while, um, we met for, I guess, what, just talking, catching up, I hadn't seen him in a long time, so we had a lot to talk about, and then dinner, and, um, we were in like an area that's not far from here and it's like a shopping mall kind of area and like all right let's go get some dinner hungry enough and we decided on maybe getting sushi and we went into the mall and actually it's kind of it's kind of interesting because the first time I went to this sushi shop was with this guy he introduced it to me I don't know how many years ago, like six, seven years ago, maybe he introduced this shop to me and it became my favorite sushi shop. And I've been there not many times, but enough times that it became, it was my favorite, right? It wasn't like, it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't cheap. Cause like you can get really cheap sushi here but this wasn't really cheap sushi. It was a little bit expensive. So I only went there like on special occasions or whatever, right? Um, or I felt like I deserved to eat fancy sushi and not the cheap stuff. <laughs> but it wasn't like so expensive that it would, it would, you know, break my, my wallet or anything or break the bank or whatever. It was just like, just enough to get to the next tier of sushi the next quality of sushi and it was really good and I really enjoyed going there but we went there and it was closed it was closed it was gone it was replaced by another sushi shop which 
it might have been good. I don't know. We didn't go there. We went to a yakitori restaurant instead, which is like what chicken a chicken restaurant, and where it's like grilled chicken on a stick. But they have a bunch of other stuff too. Um, but it was still good. It was still good. But I was I was still kind of disappointed that my favorite sushi shop closed. But I do have like another runner-up for my favorite sushi shop. Um, or not a runner-up, but yeah, I guess a runner-up, like the next one in line, which I haven't been there in a while either. It's been a couple years since I think I went there, but it's still there, and I think it'll stay there for a long time. It's kind of like, I don't know, kind of a landmark, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but the other one was just, I don't know, it was just really good. It was in, it was in, um, just in a mall, so I think it probably didn't probably didn't survive COVID maybe I don't know I don't know I don't know the reason maybe the owner just decided to stop I don't know but yeah oh well I can still go to that other place it's still really good um, but it's also like it's not cheap the other place I think they have two shops actually they have one that's like the next tier of sushi where it's not cheap but it's not expensive and then they have another shop it's just across the street which is like the next next tier of sushi where it's gonna get a little bit expensive but still like not gonna break the bank but oh well it's okay anyways but yeah so the chicken restaurant was still good but oh well anyways yeah, not much else going on. Like, I ha I wrote a list down of stuff to talk about, and I don't know. There's not much on it. Photo contest, work, sushi. The one other thing that I wrote down was to talk about studying Japanese, which I am kind of doing again, but not really. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Um, I decided to give Duolingo a chance. I don't know why. Uh, actually, I actually do know why. Um, somebody I know back home has been posting about it <clears throat> for a while now on uh, Facebook, studying French. Man, it's getting hot in here. And I have the air conditioner on. <laughs> I think it's my light that's in front of me. Man, what's the temperature in here? Oh, well, it's still like 70 something. I don't know. It's crazy hot right now. We've had crazy weather for like like three four weeks now a month like a heat wave and then a typhoon and then another heat wave and then now it's like second rainy season I don't know what's going on who knows um, but yeah and it's gonna rain all, all day again tomorrow I think oh well but anyways yeah so Duolingo a friend of mine has been posting about it for a while now studying French so I'm like you know what? let's give it a try let's see what it's like I've never used it before um, so I got it on my phone and it's 100% free unless you want to like remove the ads or whatever but I don't care <clears throat> I'm, because like I'm not like I'm only doing it during my commute to work um, so basically when you start it you do like a, a levels test and you just answer a bunch of questions and I missed one question I think and it was I think it was because they wanted the answer to be written specifically and I wrote it in one way but sometimes you know any language sometimes you can kind of reverse the order and it's still right the one way and it's still right the other way but I wrote it the one way and they wanted it specifically the other way so I got it wrong oh well it's okay but basically it started me not from the beginning but yeah actually from the beginning but I could have skipped a level or two um, but I decided just to start from the beginning um, just because like I'm not learning anything new maybe a few words here and there um, really here and there but 
it's just good practice, right? Because I don't practice really reading Japanese in my daily life. Um, not at work. Um, maybe speak a little bit at work. Um, at my like the the um, photography job, but my other job is teaching English, so I don't need any Japanese there. So, but yeah, so it's in. It's just good for repetition, right? I guess. So, yeah, it's been fun. I've been doing it now for almost a month. Um, so I guess I started before I made my last video. But I just started it, I think. But it's going, it's going good. It's, it's interesting. Like I said, I've only learned a few new words here and there. But it's, it's, it's more than that because it's helping me like. It's helping me get faster at reading. Like I can recognize words faster, which is good. Um, it, it doesn't take me like you know a few seconds to process a word. I can just like that know which word it is. But yeah, it's a pretty basic program, though. I guess at least what level I'm on. Um, so we'll see. I'll, I'll keep at it for a little while. Oh, I gotta wait. Like I, where's my phone? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know where it is. Oh, I know where it is. Never mind. It's right in front of me. <laughs> Under my switch. But yeah, it's... Um, I think I'm on like a 28-day streak or something. I don't know. 29-day. So I'll keep it going and see what happens. But yeah, it's good practice. Hopefully I can get some more practice in. But anyways, yeah, that's about it. I'm just rambling now. Um... Oh, I guess there is one more thing, but <clears throat> next week, next Sunday, well, this week, I guess, I don't know. Depends when you count when the week restarts. Um, but on Sunday, I think I'm going to go to Gion Festival for the first time. I've never been there. Uh, it's one of the biggest festivals in Japan. Uh, they had, uh, two days ago on Sunday was the first day of it. But they do it over one week, I think. I don't know. So the next one is n like the one I'm going to on Sunday. That day, it's not as spectacular, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I think I'll go to that since I've never been there. And like, yeah, it'll be fun, I think. I'm going to take my camera, of course. So I'll take a bunch of photos, um, which I haven't taken any photos really in the past two months other than at work. So it'll be fun. And I'll try to make a video or two. Um, yeah, we'll see. But Corona's going crazy here again. Um, who knows? Who knows? Hopefully it doesn't get canceled or anything. Um, because I think this is like the first year that they started having like these big public festivals again. Um, they didn't have any, of course, in 2020. Everything was canceled. And I think last year, too, everything was canceled. Um, and even this year, I think, like, there's a big festival coming up this month, I think, Tenjin Matsuri, and it's usually, like, one of the biggest firework festivals in Osaka, I guess, and I think that's somewhat canceled, they're not doing everything, I don't know, I heard they're going to do some of the parade, but not the fireworks. I don't know, which is kind of, well, whatever. I guess we're, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is, right? But, all right, anyways, this video is getting kind of long, and I'm just kind of rambling now, and not much else going on. Um, hopefully, I'll get some videos of Gion Matsuri, Gion Festival, next week, and some photos of that, and, yeah, I'll share it with you. And if anything else you know, relatively exciting happens. I'll make a video about it. But all right. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.